Hey, it's Professor Gould. In this video, I want to go over what happens to the chromosomes during meiosis. It's going to be different than what happens during mitosis. So here I have two homologous chromosomes. They've both duplicated their DNA already. Remember, they do that in S phase of the cell cycle. Um, and so we have two, homo two sister chromatids for each chromosome. And the reason that these two are different colors is that this one is the paternal chromosome and this is the maternal chromosome, okay? So the person whose body we're in, or the organism whose body we're in, this chromosome came from their father, this chromosome came from their mother. All right, so, uh, the, so the two homologous chromosomes, they are going to be in the cell, la-da-da, condensing during prophase. And in meiosis, we call it prophase one because meiosis is gonna happen in two parts, meiosis one and meiosis two. Okay, so prophase one, they're gonna condense, kind of move to the center of our cell. Imagine a cell out here, okay? In prometaphase one, uh, the nuclear envelope will be completely dissolved the spindle fibers are going to form all of that is going to be the same as what's happening in mitosis so i'm not going to talk about those parts i'm just going to talk about what happens with our chromosomes the big difference between meiosis and mitosis is that in mitosis we're making an exact copy of the original cell in meiosis we're going to make cells with half the dna of the original cell, and that's the important part. Okay, so prophase one, there's one important thing that happens, and that is that these two homologous chromosomes line up next to each other like this. Woo, we're friends. And they actually swap genetic material, and it's called crossing over because their little legs actually cross each other and pinch off a part of the genetic material and swap genetic material. Now they're swapping the same genes. So whichever genes was on the pink one, that's now on the blue one, whichever gene was on the vice versa. Okay, so let me let me switch those legs there. Okay, so by the end of prophase one, we've done crossing over. And now each of the chromosomes is a combination of paternal and maternal DNA. Ooh, that's cool. That's why you're never offspring from sexual reproduction. I'm never exactly like either their mother or their father because after crossing over in prophase one, all of the chromosomes have a little of both. Now, they can cross all four legs, um, but the important thing is whichever genes get swapped, they're going to break at the same point. Um, and if it looks like I didn't quite do that, that's my artistic skills, not the genetic reality. Okay, so now we have homologous chromosomes like this. Okay, prometaphase, they're going to attach, their little kinetochores are going to make, uh, microtubules attached to the spindle fibers from the centrosomes. In metaphase one, they're going to line up on either side of the metaphase plate. So imagine the metaphase plate is right here. They're gonna line up on either side. All of the other homologous pairs of chromosomes are gonna line up as well. So remember that in mitosis, the chromosomes line up single file along the metaphase plate. In meiosis one, they line up double file okay in homologous pairs then in anaphase one what happens is that the homologous pairs separate so one of these is going to go into one daughter cell the other is going to go in the other daughter cell all the homologous pairs separate and that's anaphase one and then telophase one nuclear envelope reforms uh let's assume this is an animal cell we get a cleavage furrow cytokinesis happens Okay, now, in prophase two, now each of these are in their own cell. So I'm gonna draw some daughter cells here so we have, there we go. Now we have daughter cells, you can see that, 
Okay, so nuclear envelopes break down and the process from here out is just like mitosis. So meiosis two is just like mitosis. Prophase, the uh, spindle fibers attach to the kinetochores, pro, sorry, prometaphase, they attach to the kinetochores. And then during metaphase two, the centrosomes that are holding the sister chromatids together break down and the sister chromatids, sorry, sister chromatids, not sister chromosome, sister chromatids are going to separate to the opposite poles of the cells. So let's break this. Come on, you can come apart. There we go. And do, do, do. Okay. So then we're going to do uh, telophase two and cytokinesis two. And each of these is going to become a daughter cell. Sorry, you can't see part of that. So what we're going to end up with, let's move it on over so you can see it. We're going to end up with four cells, each of which has half of the DNA of the original cell. It has one of each chromosome. Remember, this, these are homologous pairs. So the cell we started out with had one of each. Now each cell only has, or, sorry, the cell we started out with, the mother cell, had one of each homologous pair, two of each chromosome. So if this is chromosome number one, it had two number ones. The daughter cells each have one number one. So these, depending on whether this is happening in a male or a female, if it's in a male, these are sperm. If it's in a female, these are eggs. Okay, so we end up with, let me scoot that over. There we go, now you can see all four. Four daughter cells with half the DNA, all right? So important differences, we have meiosis one and meiosis two. Meiosis one in prophase, we do crossing over swap genetic material, prophase one. Prometaphase one, we line up next to each other, connect to the spindle fibers. Anaphase one, homologous pairs separate. Telophase and cytokinesis one, we make daughter cells. Prophase two, come to the center of the cell, nuclear envelope starts to break down. Prometaphase two, spindle fibers attach. Anaphase two, sister chromatids separate. Telophase two, cytokinesis two, we end up with four daughter cells, each with half the original DNA. So we started out with cells that had two of each chromosome, they were diploid. We end up with cells that have one of each chromosome, they are haploid. And that is the process of meiosis.